In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a super cool text animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. This tutorial is super fun, very easy to follow and it will help you to create some amazing looking text animation in just few steps. So without any further ado, let's hop into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Keep it 1920 by 1080, 30fps and 10 seconds long. I'll call this title and hit OK. Let's select the text tool and you can of course type in any text that you want. I'm going to use a simple nice code for this. So I'm going to hit Ctrl V to paste that code. You can use any name or whatever that you want to type. And for the font, I'm, I'm using the Poppins Extra Bold. This is my new favorite font, which I will be using for this video. You can, of course, again, use any font that you like to. So let's start our animation process. So I'll jump into the text property and go into the animate section and add a position animator. Now, we don't need any range selector at the moment. So I'm going to select it, delete it. What we need is an expression. So I'm going to go into a selector and add an expression. Then if I go into the expression selector and amount section, you can see we already have an expression applied right here, but we will be using a different expression that I have. Now you can download this expression notepad from the link in the description below. So you can just simply copy paste it. So I'm going to hit control C, go right here and hit control V. Now we don't see any animation because we haven't really touch the position. So we need to influence our animation using the position property. So I'll set this to minus 200. And now if I preview this, you can see we have a really nice and simple animation. So now we are triggering our animation using the property and with the help of that expression. So now we can go ahead and add some more properties like opacity, scale and rotation. So let's go into the add, add property, go into property and add, let's go with maybe a scale and bring that down to zero. So now we have also added a scale animation with the position. It looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and add an opacity as well. Let's bring that down to zero. And now you can see we get this really cool look. Also, I can add a rotation. So you can play around with this. You can add as many properties as you want. Just try to experiment it and you can come up with a really cool animation. And I think this is looking really, really cool. Now to make it look even really, you know, interesting, what you can do is you can go into add property, go into selector and add a wiggly selector. Now this is gonna, you know, make your animation look super cool, but we need to definitely tweak some settings to make it, you know, make it a bit more uh, manageable. So what I'll do is you can also play around with the random seed in case if you want to change the way it animates. So this way you can create some really different looks for every text or every um, word that word that you're using. Now I like the way it stops, but I don't like the way it starts. So we need to fix that. So to do that, what we can do is we can add a range selector. So I can go into selector and add a range. And now right off the bat, you can see it looks pretty weird. So we need to animate the offset as well. So I'll go to maybe 10 frames, set the offset to all the way up to 100. Create a keyframe, go to zero and set this to zero. Now you can still see some of the text. So we can fix that by simply adding an opacity keyframe. So I'll select the layer, hit T to bring down the opacity, create a keyframe. Go back in time and set this to zero. So now if I just open that up, you can see we get this really cool look. So if I just preview this, we get a super cool looking animation. Now one more thing that we can do is to make the animation a bit more smoother. I will jump into the animator and range selector, go into the advanced properties. And now we can actually change the way it animates. So right here in the shape section, we will change this from square to ramp up. I'll go to this keyframe. That is the offset keyframe, which is set to hundred. I'll go back 
which is set to 0 and I'll set this to minus 100. Alright, and now our animation should be a bit more smooth as you can see. You can also play around with the ease high and ease low. So if I increase the ease high, it's going to, you know, pop out really quick. As you can see, it really smashes and then ends up. And I really like the look way it looks. Now let's add a really nice, um, you know, look to this complete animation. And for that, I will be using an effect called echo. So let's jump into the effects and preset and type in echo, which is an inbuilt effect from After Effects. And now you can see a bit of echo into our text, but we need to tweak some settings right here. So what I'll do is I'll set this to zero point. So let's delete this. Let's set this to minus zero point zero zero one. Then let's increase the number of echoes to hundred and everything else looks good. Maybe I'll increase the delay to three and set the echo operator to maximum and now it's going to make the comp a bit heavy so i'm just going to bring down the quality to half and let's actually preview this and as you can see it starts to look really really interesting and complex now now to make it look even more cooler we can add some nice color to this so let's go into effects and preset again and type in fill to add a nice color but now it's going to apply the fill effect to the complete text which we don't really need so i'm just going to double click to apply the fill so what we can do is we want only the fill effect to affect our echo so i can go and add a cc composite in this and that should fix it up there we go now we can add any color that we like so i'm going to add a nice darker pink color which looks really cool but because of that, we can get a bit of anti-aliasing issues at the edges. So you can see that colors are peeking out. So to fix that, we can add a simple choker on this. Double click to apply that up and maybe give it a bit of like, maybe like 0.6 and that should fix it. So now you can see it looks super cool. There we go. This is looking pretty great. Now we can also animate the out animation of our text. So for now, I'm just going to set this for quarter so it don't get pretty heavy. And I'll go to around 20 frames. Go into the range selector. Let's create a keyframe on the end property. Or maybe let's animate the offset. So I'll create a keyframe on the offset. Go to 2 seconds and bring that down to 0 or maybe minus and bring that down to minus 100. So now we have our out animation as well. So I can hold alt and close square bracket to crop that up. So now we have our in animation and as well as our out animation as well. Now one more thing that I would like to add is a random order. So I'll turn off the random order. So it goes out randomly. Okay, that is looking pretty cool. Let's add our other half of our code. So, so what I can do is I can hit control D to duplicate it and let's hit U so we can see all the keyframes and I'm going to just try to blend this both together. So first of all, I'll just control V to copy paste the text. And I can also change the color to a nice, maybe a blue color. Now let's try to manage up these two texts. So, so when it turns out, let's start adding this up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to edit the way it fades out or animate out. Now I want to change the way the second text animates out because I don't want the same animation for the out animation as well. 
So what I can do is I can go at 3 seconds, let's bring down the range selector properties and let's animate the end property. So I'll create a keyframe right here, bring that keyframe, maybe let's keep it there. Let's go to right here and let's set this to 0. So now it will animate out in a different style. And there we go, there we have our animation completed. So let's pretty quickly preview this. So there you go, there you have your really cool text animation using some really simple expression and animation properties. So that is a wrap for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then please do subscribe to the channel, comment down below and leave a like if you enjoyed it. So I will see you guys in the next video, till then take care and make sure to follow me on Instagram at dope.motion to check out some really cool and educational microblogs and I will see you guys in the next video, till then take care. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.